Imperial Palace Museum of Taipei was construction between 1962 and 1965 in a classical Chinese imperial style. Light blue tiled roofs, cream walls, and white banisters. The effect is one of elegant simplicity. Within the museum, one finds a vast collection of Chinese landscape paintings. These include Song Dynasty Xia Gui's Clear Stream by the Mountains, Ma Yuan and his son Ma Lin's Herons by a Snowy Beach, and Fragrant Spring after the Rain. Celebrating the great mountains of the Northern Song Dynasty, one finds the masterpieces Myriad Gullies Among Pines and Fishing by a Clear Stream by Li Tang. There is also the Yuan Dynasty's Ni Jian's Narrow Halls and Zhao Meng Fu's Magpie in Autumn, among others. However, the full picture that these masterpieces make up can only be fully appreciated when their counterparts in the mainland are included in the narrative. For instance, the painting, Dwelling in the Fuchun Mountains by Yuan Dynasty painter Huang Gong Wang, was divided by the vicissitudes of history into two parts, each kept in a different side of the Taiwan Straits, one in the Zhejiang Provincial Museum and the other in the Taipei Imperial Palace Museum. In 1999, painters from both sides of the Taiwan Straits came together by the banks of River Fuchun to reproduce each side's half of the painting. This way, each of the original halves of dwelling in the Fuchun Mountains finally found its counterpart. Chinese landscape paintings reached its peak during the Tang and Song dynasties. Many beautiful works by a given painter of this great period are found divided between both sides of the Taiwan Straits. This is the case with the only two extant works by Dong Yuan, a painter of Southern Tang during the Five Dynasties period. They are kept in the Imperial Palace Museums of Beijing and Taipei. The Beijing Imperial Palace Museum's clear Hunan River depicts the river cutting into the mountain. The work is at once filled with vigor and energy, while also depicting the gentle beauty of the landscapes in southern China. Likewise exhibited at the Taipei Imperial Palace Museum is Winter Forest, also a depiction of a southern landscape, but this one in midwinter. The Northern Song Dynasty saw a second flourishing of landscape painting in China. This is Winter Forest After the Snow by Fan Kuan. Conserved at the Tianjin Museum, it is the only piece by this artist except for Stream and Mountain Traveler, which is kept at the Taipei Imperial Palace Museum. Both paintings make use of rich and heavy brushwork to depict imposing cliffs of its mountains. The work of another artist of the Northern Song Dynasty, Guo Shi, is also divided between the two shores of the Taiwan Straits. Stone Nest is conserved at the Imperial Palace Museum of Beijing, the Shanghai Museum keeps a secluded valley, while the Yunnan Province Museum has calling on friends. On the other hand, the Imperial Palace Museum of Taipei exhibits two of Guo Shi's works, Early Spring and Old Trees. Beijing's stone nest depicts an autumn scene, while Taipei's early spring depicts the coming of this colorful season. Guo Shi's brush changes its portrayal of landscapes with the passing of the seasons, yet its imposing style is always an underlying force. Regardless of how much time has elapsed, these national treasures share common roots, standing together in the treasury of Chinese culture.